I'd like to discuss the impact of bro podcasting on not only the election, but just American culture in general. And Joe Rogan has this massive audience and primarily male and um, evidently pretty um, impactful on his audience. And he hasn't always been a Trumper, actually quite far from it. And I want to play this clip for you and our listener of some things that Joe Rogan has said in the past. I really believe if yeah. Michelle Obama runs, she might she win. wins. She's good. She's great. She's right. the wife of the best president that we right, have had right. in our lifetime. I've never voted right wing in my life. Consider universal basic income a really good idea. I want free college education. Take it easy. Hello, Bernie. How are you, Joe? <laughs> Wonderful. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like Tulsi and I like Bernie. That's it. Oh, yeah? Everybody else can eat shit. Look at you, fucking progressive. Yeah. I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. I think he's looking out for the interests of the working people, and I think he wants people to have a better life and do better and i'm all for that and if that means i have to pay more in tax like people think oh you're a socialist i've heard people say that oh you're a fucking socialist bro like first of all he's not even a socialist mm -hmm. he, he's a democratic socialist it's a different thing i would like to spend more in taxes if they could fix inner city communities and and take these poor neighborhoods and we throw spend a fuck load of you fucking republican the piece of shit 87 percent of scientists said that human activity is driving global warming i'm very pro-choice i'm very women's rights civil rights gay rights trans rights I'm even universal health care. Obviously, this um, protected status is driving me crazy. This this thing that Trump's doing with children that were born in uh, other countries and then brought over here as children, and then they're talking about deporting them. That drives me fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that kind of shit. And the hard right version of that is despicable. This, mm. These people that I see online, why didn't they apply for citizenship? Oh, who knows? Maybe because they're fucking 13. I don't give a fuck if they broke the law. You don't take parents and kids and separate them. You just fucking don't. You know Alonzo? No, I was a funny comedian. Yeah. He said... He goes, not all Donald Trump supporters are racist, yeah. but all racists are Donald Trump supporters. <laughs> that, 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 that could, that, he definitely awakened that side. But, but see, the January 6th thing is important. See, it is important, and but is it the six months later, is it should be the ruling it, it, number I one think, conversation of I journalists? I think it's really important. And one of the reasons why I think it's important because it highlights the reasons why a guy like Donald Trump is so fucking dangerous mm -hmm. is because a guy can incite a bunch of morons to do yeah. something really fucking stupid. As far as trans people, some trans people listening to this, I got nothing but love for you. For mm. everybody. And in fact, Eddie Izzard is one of my all-time favorite guests. Oh, I love Izzard. The right-wing thing is just an easy way to dismiss me, because you know, I'm not right-wing. Can't recommend Can't your book, deep. Race Matters, enough. So isn't that interesting? And what happened to Joe Rogan? You hear all of this moral clarity that he has there. And he's not a pussy when he talks about all these things. He's I mean, he's just, he's smart about it. And, uh, but what happened to him happened to millions of Americans. Millions of Americans went from feeling like that about a lot of these social issues and then have shifted completely to a man that took a victory lap for overturning Roe v. Wade. And so I think it's interesting that when you see the messaging of Joe Rogan now kind of matches somewhat of what the electorate is. And his messaging there, I would imagine some of those clips are around the time Biden won, and he won by like eight, nine million votes, you know, very decisive and won the popular vote over 50%. So I just think it's really interesting how thought leaders in the United States right now have such an impact on what people think. It is interesting because of the switch, and it, obviously I don't know, but my question is, why the change? Why move over to MAGA? What was it that caused that? Was it that that's what its audience wants? Is is it because the disinformation is so high on Fox News, his viewers and listeners tune out if he doesn't feed them red meat? Are we so addicted to red meat as a society and being in our own silos and hearing what we wanna hear? that we can't hear from the other side. I mean, that I guess that's my question because until we understand why these people have switched to hating immigrants, to not giving a shit if the middle class and poor people have health care and social security, that women have we reproductive freedom, until we figure out why nobody thinks that's important, we can't send the message to help them understand how it impacts them and other members of society. I, I, I'm at a loss. I think what happened is this. Rogan there is talking about January 6th 
and how dangerous it was. And we all saw with our own eyes how dangerous it was. And then they started, oh, it was actually Antifa. Oh, it was just a dust up, blah, blah. The Democrats pushed out. They completely pushed out. Joe Biden should have said, I won. It was free and fair. These people are sore losers. They're liars. I'm going to appoint an attorney general that will prosecute every single one of these people. But I'm mostly concerned about who authorized this, who funded it, and who called off the National Guard. We all saw with our own eyes.